Well, howdy there, VC. It's just me right this second. Hey! Nick! What? The email said that the package was delivered. It's not here. Look harder. All right, I'll keep looking. Anyway, I've got the package. And it's a vegan, as you can see. Now, when I order these, I it's do not look here! You want me to go, like, to the back door? Maybe they put it there. Okay. Anyway, when I ordered these for him, to surprise him and everything, I do look at the ratings and the sleep quality and all that. And sometimes I do will get a bad record on purpose. And I just wanted to let you all know that it's like a placeholder. But he does get enjoyment out of it, and so it's worth it to me. Find it yet? You know mommy has the box, right? Might what? be up your butt. What? Might be up your butt, kicking field goals. How the hell did you sneak that past me? And you got the camera set up? Yeah. God dang it. I've already been recording. Bull crap. I had a little talk with the VC before you came in. Oh, yeah. Timer says about a minute. Uh huh. <sighs> Hi, guys. Welcome into the Steve's been hoodwinked. I've been hoodwinked. You winked my hoods. Are you excited? Can I wink your hood later? Are you excited? You're ignoring me. I am excited because if you guys aren't aware, a regular occurrence here is my wife goes to vinylshop.us where our records are usually a dollar, maybe two. But they got tons of records at all prices. They got some of their thousands of dollars. Super rare stuff. Primo. But they've always been good, treated us good. Their packaging is phenomenal. I think it's gotten better. Yeah, they've even improved, which is amazing. And the whole thing is, up to 100 records are shipped for 5 bucks. 5 bucks shipping. You can't beat it. And uh, the difference with this box is, she normally gets ones that are a buck. But we got our tax return. I don't know what she spent on these. It could have been a buck a piece. She could have went overboard. But I know one thing. She will not tell me how much she spent on any of these records. And I love to spoil you. I know. Boy, oh boy. And when I order, I do it under my discogs. I know. That way you can't see. I know. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are like, oh, she got them on. She went to the vinyl shop US on discogs and ordered them. Yeah, hers. Hers. So I don't know what's in here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. There's a ton of packaging. Yeah. Like I said, five bucks. Up to 100 records shipped. I mean, ship them good. I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. Hey, don't play me this time. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> they packaged them good. I see there's a whole bunch of tips. Let's play with Stretchy Dog while we're waiting. Hi, Stretchy Beagle. Eat a beagle. That, that's what Steve does when he's poor. Let's try to eat the little golden laboratory retriever who's stretchy in a shark outfit. Are you there yet? No. I am so drying. I was not expecting this. They definitely have paid their taxes. Another sponsorship. Not only do I regularly get sponsored by my favorite underwear company, MeUndies, but now i got a new sponsor, Dude Wipes. If you get a little mess going in the back of your MeUndies, you won't anymore if you use a Dude Wipe first. I mean, is it just a regular baby wipe put in a bag scented manly? Absolutely. It's just a baby wipe repackaged. But it says dude, so it makes it manly. Buy your dude wipes today. Oh, jeez. Are we there yet? Now, now. I think so. Okay. Wow. Yes. That was a lot of work. I'm sweating, though. I'm curious what they smell like. Got this as a free sample at Walmart. You know that little thing where you put the phone in the machine and you're like, oh, here's a free sample. Oh, wow. It's a baby wipe. Oh, it smells good, though. Mmm, that's bad. Mm, it smells like a musty oh, attic. Record, 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 record. What do we got? 
101 strings I don't have. Look at the condition that is in. The sugar and the spice of Rudolph Frimmel. Frimmel! I do have some Rudolph Frimmel records, but this is cool. It's a Rudolph Frimmel conducting for the 101 Strings Orchestra from a 101 string, string Collection. I got a special spot just for them. Awesome. Double. This is actually the very first Ferrante and Teicher record I ever picked up. The one that got me into Ferrante and Teicher. Our very first trip to the, you might have forgot because it was like three years ago when I first started collecting records. But this is the one that has the cover of uh, the Rocky theme song that I think is better than the one from the movie. Um, and uh, mine's in a little better shape. So, that's okay. This is going to somebody and going to get a good home. If you guys, if you're interested in Fronty and Teicher doing kind of really cool jazzy things like Gonna Fly Now, um, there's some great songs on here. New York, New York. You know, Nadia's thing. It's a good record. All right. Next up. I like to back already. Not only is it a Happy Time record, but I'm looking at this is in good shape. Happy Time records are hard to come by in good shape. Oh, TV and movie favorites for children. Wider, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, Huckleberry Hound. All right. Come on, vinyl. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, boy, can't wait. Yeah. Knock off. That's not Huckleberry Hound. That's cool. Thank you. Good job. I didn't know, but go stamp promo. Oh, there is. It's a gold stamp promo, Peaches. Um, the South's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. South's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Marshall Tucker Band at Atlanta Rhythm Section. Charlie Daniels, Outlaws, um, Allman Brothers, Elvin Bishop. Oh, yeah. Wet Willie's on here. That's a great compilation from Capricorn. That's cool. The Birthday Party. Candle and the Agape Land Singers. You guys remember that video back in the day where we did we talked about Agape Land? Agape? No, Agape. And there was this one called Music Box. And also they have uh, did one for Antville. But this is another one of theirs. This is The Birthday Party. Wow. And the booklet is still in here. Cool. Christian Kids Records. The Birthday Party in Agape Land. Or a gate plan, depending on how perverted you want it to be. Good one. I don't have this one. Awesome. Herbie Mann's Superman. There, are, uh, there is a Herbie Mann I'm still trying to get. Uh, that's one where he's practically naked on it. But I'll take the Superman knockoff in there. Still in the shrink. Great job. Awesome stuff. If you're not familiar, uh, Herbie Mann plays the flute. He's a flautist. And uh, pretty good stuff. This is that jazzy, schlocky, loungy, could be the, you know, theme to a TV show or something kind of music. But it's good stuff. I do not have that. That would be my fourth Herbie Man. Awesome. And recorded in Germany. Folk songs and drinking songs from Germany. The Vienna Mail Choir and Corn Quartet. I might actually have this. Or something very similar to it. I we'll take a look. something similar. But, uh. Either way, this is in really good shape. For the price I paid, she paid, I have a feeling that she's doing me good. She's doing the value value thing. She's not going to buy anything too crazy. Thank you. I, I love this. Do. Grand Prix series, we all know that's a low budget nah, reissue of a reprint of a reissue of a master tape that they got for ne practically nothing. That's how Grand Prix works, if you're not familiar. Um, but this is. The Harmonica Rascals. But wait. Wait. Um, hold on a second. This, There's something going on here. Because I have a couple records that are not the Harmonica Rascals. That has that cover, that picture on it. Who was that? I wonder if they got the gates from them. I'll, I'll do another video. I'll do a deep dive. But uh, I think they took this this actual record I may have the exact recording of, but they repackaged it, renamed it, redid everything. It's oh, possible. No, it's not a double. No, it's not a double. 
But uh, it could be a very good knockoff double. That, that's that's even more interesting. I can't wait to do a deep dive on that. The roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. Ah, Anthony Newley's in here. Um, if you remember right, uh, I have a couple records of his where he looks really creepy like a stalker. He was also in uh, It's Not This World I Want to Get Off. Um, that's cool. David Merrick in association with Bernard Delfont, the original Broadway cast. Nice. See, look it. I'm going to show you. Here's Anthony again. Remember I said he kind of looks like a creepy pervert? Take a look at that. He cannot not look like a creep. Dude's bad news. It's not as bad as that one where he's like peeking through the, you know, bushes and the trees. Like he's like girl watching, you know. Mad Musfaste Clavier Spin Conan. Le Purpur. Um, German? I'm going to say German. Going to say German. Yes. Printed in Germany. We got a German record of some chicks and a piano. Anybody know? All I know on here does have Foxtrot, Slow Tango, and Bossa Nova. Uh, yeah, and there's Polydor, and it's got the Gemma box on there. That is cool. I love my foreign records. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, what's this? What's this? That's the original. It's also gold stamped. Uh, could be. There's a stamp on there. Legosa Records. Partners in Crime. I think I know them. They're a hip-hop band. And uh, this is Criminal's Love Story. Rob you, Diane. Oh, Posse's in effect. Oh, this is a full record. I don't think this is probably the right cover. This is just one they put on there so I can make a cover for it. Too Good to Talk, I'm a Lover. Fat Bitch. Okay. They got songs called Fat Bitch. I'm probably going to like them. And it is the, probably the partners in crime I'm thinking of. Sweet. Oh, there's another track on here called Die, Teacher, Die. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> What's up next? Ooh. One Way, Wrap Your Body. What in the world? Maybe R&B? Uh, usually when you have 80s and black folk and they're wearing really nice outfits, um, it's probably either gospel or R&B. Could be wrong. This could be death metal. I, I don't know. I'm not being racist. I'm just... Maybe I am stereotyping. But look, you get the picture. Um, anybody on here I recognize? Irene Perkins. Recorded in Detroit, Michigan. Nice. I got to look. I love that. Look at it. Look at it. Pinch. Okay. Cool. Ooh, it's embossed. Christmas Drubber Boy featuring Don Jansen and 60 voice children's chorus. Yeah. It's crummy and it's embossed. Fancy for its time. Cool. Ooh. I don't know if I have this or not. It's a K-Tel, so I hope I do. If not, I got it now. Music Power, 22 original hits. You got, what, Brownsville Station. Cool. Glass Night in the Pips. Raspberries. Barry White. This is an old one. What is this? It's the old label, too, guys. And look, they're nice enough to put a nice in around there. Old label. That means it's pre-75, so this has got to be... Oh, let's try in the back here. 1974. Awesome! I do not have this for sure. This one looks like another old one. Look at this. Star Parade. I mean, guys, I've got like 50 or 60 k tells now, and, and she's finding ones I don't have. Peter Maffei, Jite, Kosa. Who are any of these people? This, do you recognize any of these people? I don't know any. Oh, Ein Fresh Bryce Ein Eichen Platten Teller. Are you going to tell me that I have a foreign pressing of a K-Tel record? No way. What is this? What is this? What is this? Schweifen, 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 Schweifen. It's reading like it's German, but that doesn't stuff say said Germany. Um, Frankfurt. It's a Frankfurt. That's Germany. Wow. It's a German K-Tel, guys. Look at look at that label! I do not have any with a K Tel label like that. Do you see that? Uh huh. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. The Point of Sisters on here? No. <clears throat> and these artists are not artists that were big here. 
I mean, even there's a cover of Maggie Mae, but it's not from Face or Rod Stewart. So I don't... Wow. I'm going to show you the back. You guys can freeze frame. These are going to be discovered hits for me. It's like uh, Matt, you know, when you guys, when you have your, uh, you know, now that's what they call music or whatever crap that you got from over in the UK and half the bands are ones that no one over here has ever heard of. That's cool, right? What's up next? Ooh, a Roberta Flack I don't have. It will be a lonely boy. Need to make a cover for it. But it's the full record of Blue Lights in the Basement by Roberta Flack. Coolness. Kind of love Roberta Flack. I don't think I have that one either way. Next up, I don't know if I had, this is the one I have. I have one Sandy Nelson record, as you know, 50s teen idol drummer, right? Um, but this is Teen Beat 55. Let's see, it's on here. Uh, he does wipe out the jerk. Cool. What else is on here? Teen Beat is on here, which is good. That's one of his best songs. Wow. Okay, cool. Some more Sandy Nelson. There's some great stuff in here. I do have a section. This might be something that graduates from down here to up here because I have about eight or nine Ted Heats. But if I get ten, he gets his own section. Ted Heats 100 London Palladium Sunday Concert. Wow, look at that. Look at this awesome water damage on the back. Check that out. The record's falling right out the bottom. That is sweet. Yeah, <coughs> warned that it had water damage. Look, look at It's that old London label. Look at that. It says London Long Playing, which means this could very is very easily early 50s, most likely 51, 52. Wow. One of the first probably LPs. That's awesome. That is history, my man. History. Or oh, my lady. Next. Oh, thank you. I don't have enough Frankie Yankovic in my collection. Frankie Yankovic and his Yanks weren't if he's uh, friends with Wayne King from the other video the other day. Wayne King and his Yanks. That'd be funny. Um, but no, uh, just another polka. Sweet. Oh, love Frankie. And this is such good shape for how old it is. Freaking harmony. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Frankie Yankovic. For you, Steve Carlson, more polka. Because I know you love polka. Sing along for children, volume one. What's up, baby girl? I'll oh, take her she says she likes sing along for children, volume one. Again, another Happy Time Records, and it's in good shape. A rare find. Look at that. Oh, this is cool, cool, cool. I can't believe I'm getting all these Happy Times in decent shape. I've come across so many in my collection right now that are just. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Maxine Nightingale, lead me on. <laughs> Bite that ass, tiger. Take a big chunk out of there. <laughs> Here's another picture on the other side. Wow. Hideaway. Darling, don't know anybody. David Foster on keyboards. I recognize him. Guitars. Ray Parker Jr. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, cool. I'm going to have to check this out. Maxine Nightingale, lead me on. Ah, this would be like my fourth Dukes of Dixieland record, but don't have this one. I have the best of the Dukes of Dixieland, more of the best of Dukes of Dixieland, but this is the original Dukes of Dixieland, a record I could have played on uh, Mardi Gras. Hee hee. That's all by photographic memory. Pretty when good. I pick these up. Look it, it's on that nice old gangsta mob roulette rib. Pretty good, pretty good. So far, you're doing great. Only one for sure, and one maybe. Woody Woodbury. <laughs> Second in a series of records with built-in blush recorded The Laughing Room. Must be a blue record. Because uh, uh, it's comedy and it says built-in blush. So like embarrassment and, and shade. I don't know. Wow. On the spot recordings made in the Fun and Sunset, Florida. I do not know. Wow. Why would you fill out the card and close with this record? And Why don't you fill it out and join the Booze is My Only Answer Club? The Booze is My Only Answer Club. That's nice. And look, it's numbered. 
very close, very close looking to like a Beatles numbering. Anyway, wow. Anybody out there know Woody Woodbury? <coughs> Stereo Oddities presents Discovery. Hopefully, you like that one. This one is going to be a double, unless it's a stereo mono kind of thing. Okay. Um, but it's Little Abner, original music comedy. Um, this one has seen its better days, but I know mine's also seen its better days. This might be an upgrade, actually. We don't know, but... Um, book by Norman Panama and Melvin Frank, based on the characters by Al Cap. Cucule la The slightly irreverent Mitchell Trio. There's Chad, Joe, and Mike. Are they all named Mitchell? Are they like brothers? Uh, it's a folk group. Okay. Hmm. Let's check them out. Kind of like the Kingston Trio, but it's the Mitchell Trio. Who knows? This might be a double, but it's a shrink. <coughs> uh don't care. Yeah, this is in a. This is definitely an upgrade. A like new Sean Cassidy under wraps. Look at that. That is definitely an upgrade. Wow. Who doesn't love Sean Cassidy? You don't like Sean Cassidy. You can't be friends with me no more. I'm just kidding. A lot of people don't like Sean Cassidy. Well, coming out the bottom. Ooh. Is this complete? I don't know. Is this is. This might be my first Peter Pan. Oh. Look at. Alice in Wonderland, book and record. Yes, it is complete. Oh, wow, the whole book is in there. Let's take a look at the record, gang, because you know this is always bad news. Ah, oh, the little scuffy. No huge scratches, though. Wow, this will be my first complete Peter Pan book and record. Oh, right. <coughs> oh, that is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to. Mommy did good. I do got this one. Can guarantee because this is mono also. This is a duplicate. If you guys remember, damn Yankees, I may I was like, it's a little bit of a for uh, the time frame. And then I realized the whole play is about whores. I'm like, oh, okay, well that's fine. She looks like a horror. That works. Um, when I listened to it. Uh, yeah, there's a very, very... If you guys haven't watched or known Damn Yankees, it's a classic, but uh, I did not know that existed at that time frame. All right. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Mine might be mono. Mine might be stereo, but it's Herb Albert's second I album. I looked up mine a too. couple, and it showed you didn't have them. Again, could be different pressings. When it comes to Herb Albert, every single so pressing, every single everything, I'm getting everything. So if I don't have this exact label or this exact pressing, I need it. But I did look up. Good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we got a gold mine here, folks. It's not a grail, but it's gold. It's Booty 101, The Forbidden Dances. You're like, well, what kind of things are on here? Oh, me so horny, two live crew. Come on, baby. Two live crew. I want to rock right now. Luke, again. But then we go, same label Poison Clan, Disco Rick, and the Wolf Pack. Uh, and then a whole bunch more Two Live Crew. It's really a Two Live Crew album. That is probably not the explicit content. Miami Bass Booty Shaking comp album. Oh, yeah. Now that. Oh, wait. There's two records in here. Is it supposed to be two records? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A, B, C, D. Two records of booty bass shaking music. Boy, oh, boy. On the Acid Jazz label, The Quiet Boys with Bosch. <coughs> I don't know. Do you guys know who The Quiet Boys are? There's, there, show the songs on each side here. See if it looks familiar to you. It's going to be, it's 1995. That's kind of the dead zone of wax right in that area. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Wait, we got it again. again. Ooh, Batman! But I don't see Batman. It says, the Gotham jazz scene. Bobby Hackett and his jazz band. I know for sure I don't have this. I would have recognized the Gotham. Oh, that's cool. All right. All right. All right. 
Let me check you out, Bobby Hackett. Do what we got next. <sighs> Good. They put the last or the best for the last. Oh, one. cool. Packaged it last. One hundred and one golden nursery songs. And if you guys don't know, this is a very special, rare record. I don't know if Mrs. VV is familiar with this. I've had my eyes on this. There was a while back I was actually looking at, uh, watching some videos about this particular topic and how rare and cool the records are. This is one of the records that has a start groove on one side and another start groove on the other side. You play the record goes all the way through, and in this case there's probably 25 songs, but you don't flip it over. If you actually restart it and go into the other groove, it'll play another 25 songs. They're interlapping grooves. So if you look on here, it actually will say side A, band 1, then side A, band 2, side 2, band... Yeah, this is a dual grooves on each side. <sighs> From Wonderland Records. This is a phenomenal find. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, there's a list. I actually looked through the list of the records that exist that have, you know, all the way to, from like, you know, Jack White and all that other stuff, you know. Easy does it. Easy does it. Do it easy. That's how I'm doing. All right. Stereo, but playable on modern equipment. What comp is this? Check this out, guys. It's another comp. Out. It's a promo Sh brought to you by Sherman Williams Paint. You bought some paint, they give you <coughs> an Easy Does It record. We've got Ray Conniff, Johnny Mathis, Barbara Streisand, Andy Williams. All the greats are on here. And even the new Christy Minstrels. This sounds like the record we play on repeat uh, for hell for certain VC members. And you know who I'm talking about. I already said your name once. I'm not saying it again. But if I played this on loop, you would want to actually go to hell if you were in heaven. I think that's heaven. Next up. Nashville hits. Ace Cannon and his alto sax. Wow. And look on here. Four walls. If you guys just got done watching my video on Jim Reeves, that's a Jim Reeves song, but on this alto sax. So it's kind of Boots Randolphy. That is freaking awesome. Wow. I can't wait to hear that. This album was recorded in October 65. I can't wait to hear that. That's going to be cool. All right. The untouchable sound of the Bill Black combo. Yeah, now this is some good stuff. Oh, it's my first Bill Black, but I've seen him in the VC and I've seen him run. I know what he sounds like. Wow, that is cool. Uh, you know, doing standards, but doing them good. Million seller hits. Another 101 strings from 101 strings collection. From Porgy and Bass, American in Paris, Rhapsody in Blue. Yeah. More melodies of George Gershwin. Cool. Yeah, I'm getting some good stuff for my collection. Ah, uh, I might have this. I know I've got three or four Joan Armstrongs. I may have this, but this one is in really good shape. Walk Under Ladders. If you guys aren't familiar with Joan Armstrong, she's brilliant. Um, you know she's brilliant because she's on A&M Records. So if Herb Alpert... He, he knows talent because Herb Alpert's perfect in every way possible. So, Glenn Yarbrough for Emily, wherever I, whenever I may find her. Wow. I uh, don't know a thing. Gonna have to discover Glenn Yarbrough. Anybody out there got a clue? Kind of cool. Is that Emily? Or is the dog Emily? I don't know who Emily is. Oh boy. Woo! Hot mama. Okay. First of all, it's an audio fidelity. See that there? If you guys remember recognize that? Port said, right? Oh. These audio fidelities. Thick cardboard, great pressings. Oh, and it is. Ugh. It's like a tank. Stereophonic demonstration record. You know, when that new thing stereo came out and they had to test them out and show some people what that crazy thing sounded like? 
demonstration and sound effects record from Audio Fidelity. Oh, this is going to be so fun to listen to. Cannot wait. And look, there's the guys again, the harmonica guys. The shenanigans. It's on that cover of that other one and the other one I have there. But the track listing is not here. Maybe I'll get on the inside. I'm going to cheat. This video's long enough already. <coughs> nope, no track listing on the label. Well, fudge. Okay, next up. Last one. Last one, okay. This one I spent a little bit more than YouTube books. To surprise you. Well, I think there's a how, couple in there I did. How much more than a little? I'll look it up later, because I'm not sure. I know I spent more than two bucks. She knows exactly how much. That she's, that's just her way, because she knows I'll forget and not ask her later. Okay. Uh, Let me have it. One of your favorites. I've heard you talk and talk and talk about them. Then I probably have it already. Oh, I doubt it. Okay. Do you have Eddie from a certain gangsta turned reverend? Rev Run? Uh, he did MC Hammer. He, he turned reverend. Um, how about Ma Maze? Um, that you've talked and talked and talked about and went on about in the past is one of your favorites. And you have mentioned them already. Okay, 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 okay. You're impatient. First one I said was Rev Run, wasn't it? It was the first one I said. Rev Run Solo Distortion. Oh, way. Sweet. Oh. It's in decent condition. Oh, it is in great shape. 2005. Rev Run. Yeah, Run from Run DMC. Wow. Wow. That is so awesome. So did I nail it again? I do. And I got a giggle just now. You know who produced this record? You'd be like, well, Russ Simmons? Produced by White Boy for White Boy's Noise Incorporated. White Boy's. Oh, that's great. Awesome, gang. Well, thank you so much for sticking by. It's a so long did video. I nail it again? Oh, you, you nailed it. Nail. <laughs> One shot. That's awesome. Huge stack of records. Now I got room for them because we're doing the expanding. If you stuck through to the end of this in the comments, say, uh, Vinyl for life, but with a uh, Y, L-Y-F-E. Now let us know that you actually got to this part of the video. And uh, I challenge you, because I doubt that anybody's making it through over 30 minutes of me not editing anything, just looking at stupid records out of a box. Really awesome records that my wife got me, though. Mwah! <laughs> Guys, you saw the variety in there. All vinyl lives matter. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye.